Hey church, it's Dom, and it's Thursday, so it's time for Testimony Thursday, where we have been hearing from people in our community uh, how God has been working in and through them. Uh, This week we have a testimony from Steve Penner, who's going to share a little bit with us about how his small group has adapted uh, to meeting online and how that's been an encouragement to him. Hi church, I've been asked to make a short video on what our small group is doing uh, during this time of isolation. In our small group, we decided to meet once a week uh, on Skype and we come up with a very simple format that seems to work for us. So uh, the first part of the meeting would be uh, simply a time of sharing uh, about the events of our lives. You know, it's a social time, really, get caught up with each other. Once we're done that, we move into our second part of the meeting, which is what we call basically a spiritual potluck. And what that means is that we all come prepared to share something with other members of the group. It could be a song, uh, a poem, um, a sermon. Uh, It could be um, something we've read, uh, devotional time. And we simply come prepared in advance to share with other members. And we then discuss it, explore it, and, uh, and we kind of enjoy that time together. Then the third part of the meeting, we uh, spend time in prayer. And we just simply share requests and pray one for another. And when you think about it, you know, the early church, uh, you know, they didn't have buildings. And uh, they had to meet in very difficult circumstances. And when you read the, 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 the scripture, you know, it talks a lot about sharing. And the idea that people came together and they gave what they had, you know, they gave food, uh, possessions, money, uh, and they, they just simply uh, shared amongst themselves. And they also came with songs and spiritual songs. So, you know, when, you, when you're talking about that, uh, we're, in a sense, you're recreating some of that same attitude in our Skype meetings. And, and it seems to work well with the technology that we're using. And it's not quite the same as being there in person, but nonetheless, uh, this is something that seems achievable. And it's been a blessing to us, and I hope that is of some encouragement to other groups as you get together and to not, uh, not, uh, not stop meeting together. And blessings to you all during this time. Thanks to Steve for sharing that testimony with us. It's so good to hear about how community is still happening in our church, even though we're socially distant. And I hope that's an encouragement to you as well. Whether you're in a small group or you're thinking about joining a small group, that now is not the time to lean out of community. Rather, we have to lean in. And to jump on to Steve's testimony a little bit, uh, I lead a small group as well. And we meet on Tuesday evenings, which is our regular night, but now we meet online. And I'll admit, sometimes it's a little frustrating. My internet isn't working as well as I'd like. My webcam is a bit blurry. You know, it's not the same as being in person. But through these creative ways of meeting and building community, we can still be there for each other. We can still pray for each other. We can still encourage each other. I think it's so important that even though it's different, we continue leaning into community right now. We all still need each other in the good times and in the hard times. And we're grateful for tools that allow us to connect. And so if you aren't in a small group, you're thinking about being in one, let us know. We would love to hear from you and help connect you into a great community. Well, that's it for this Thursday. As a reminder, you can find more information on our website, which is also where you can share prayer requests with the church, as well as give your donation. See you soon.